Hello everyone, this is Nick from DCM Bio. Today I'm going to be walking you through basic waste system maintenance on your Biotech ELX 405. As always, if you don't feel comfortable performing these steps on your own, send us an email at service at dcmbio.com and we'd be happy to assist you. The most important aspect of your biotech's waste line system is the tubing itself. Use only vacuum rated, thick walled tubing for the waste line system. Make sure the tubing isn't kinked or have anything building up inside of it. If it does, you probably need to replace it so that you get a good vacuum pull. Be sure to check the fittings on your waste line system regularly. Male fittings should have a nice clean o-ring on the bottom and fit in with a nice snap to the female fittings. Female fittings should eject the male fitting without any extra pull. These should also be tight to the cap. To do that, move the cap, take a look. If you can twist them at all, that means that your lock nut is a little loose. You'll have to go onto the underside of the cap and tighten it. You can do this with your hands, but I'd recommend sterilizing the system first as this is where your waste is held. Before reassembling the cap, you'll want to check to make sure that your O-ring is nice and clean in the cap, and the threading on the bottle itself is clear. Hand tighten, and give it a little extra resistance just to get a good seal. Make sure that all tubing is properly threaded on the fittings. On the secondary waste container, we have a float sensor that detects if there is too much waste coming through. It helps to protect and prolong the life of your vacuum pump. You'll want to make sure that it's clean, clear, and functioning correctly. Just with the primary bottle, you want to check the female fittings and the male fittings, making sure that they're nice and tight. Check the cap's o-ring, make sure it's clean, and check the bottle's threads to make sure that they're clear. Tightly assembling the cap onto the bottle. To help your biotech and the waste system have a long lifespan, regularly check your dispense fluid filter. You can do this by removing the fluid inlet screen located in the dispense fitting on the back of your instrument. Take the nozzle off, press against it to pop the screen up. Inspect the screen, you'll want to look for anything caught in the screen itself or any degradation of the rubber around the fitting. If you need to install a new one, DCM Bioservices has many available. To reinstall, simply put it so that the screen is facing away from the nozzle and press down. Don't worry about pressing down all the way. Once you re-thread the fitting onto the back of the instrument, it'll take care of the rest. When re-threading, make sure it's nice and tight so you don't have any leaks. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comments below. To see additional how-to lab automation videos and to check out our service options, visit dcmbio.com. If you have more in-depth questions or need to contact us about servicing your equipment, send an email to service at dcmbio.com. You can find links to our LinkedIn, email, and website below in the description.